25 and 9. Ah, 25 Parker. and 9 in 19 rounds of play. It is a Herculean effort. The next closest on his team was Superman going 15 and 10. An entire 10 kills back and one more death. So keep your eye on Neptune. He's going to be reunited with that role. I saw some people referred to it as very puggy. And well, Rise are going to be very quick to the punch here. Very first pistol round underway, and they're going to burst into the sea site. Got their frenzies and hands, ghosts, classics, etc. And they'll find a vacant site. Shock Dart will go out, do some damage to them. No casualties just yet. Spike getting planted by Superman in hand. The Astro will peel off. ECJ lining up that recon dart, but he thinks otherwise of it. The back corner of the site does not contain a single body of Rise. They're sequestered over by the link that leads into C. That's where XF might, might come from. Zekin in that particular position. He's got a flash out, but BCJ can't capitalize off of it. There's a cyber cage there instead. He gets the very first kill walking in. Pure with him as well, and two for Pure. Three, four, almost all of them. He didn't start the festivities, but he capitalizes off of it, and they'll give him that spike as well. Only two ticks away from having the knives and the jet main from Xset makes their mark, and Xset takes round number one. That was an odd round, to be honest with you, Parker. Um, so, uh, okay, Rise gets the site control that they want. They're on C. Burn. Break. Then in the post plant, what, what? They're all sitting right on the spike and just, just around it. There's no extension back into long. There's no extension deep back site and C by plat. Nothing. It's just, it's just, yeah, let's all group up. And, you know, honestly, it could have worked, maybe, if it weren't for Exot, eh, sorry, Exet having such a good read on the situation and the positioning of Rise. But once again, it's the ball strategy here for Rise as they group up for long. One of those shots did land on the Superman. He's been put down to 40 HP. One of the most satisfying sounds of any weapon in the game right there. A pure is above, by the way. He picked up four kills in the previous round. He's going to be a difference maker this time. Starting it off, but Rise finds their footing. They clear into the site. Next set, he won that first pistol round, had the upper hand. Superman and Derek, a 2v3. Superman down. It's Derek now, full HP. Spectre available to him. He's got three targets to find, and they're all well healed. He got swung on by the Spectre of Aaron. And after a bit of a scare, Exet manages to still eke out a victory in that second round. All right. So the explosive retakes once again for Exet working out in their favor. Rise are so quick to get that site control. And they're not even being punished too severely for the initial control, but Exet have the appropriate response. And I think early on here, so it's 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 still too early to call. But I I obviously Exet we're watching the match that we just all watched ourselves. Um, with TSM, and uh, I think they've got a good read on how to handle Rise, you know, allowing them that initial control and then punishing them right after. It's working out so far, and it's put them in a good position. Now, obviously, it's all off that pistol round at the start, and as you can see here, because of the attempted thrifty from Rise, more pistols for them. And some damage that's been done to Shanks, losing the shield and 25 HP in the process. Poise next one up to take some damage, and oh my, well, would you look at that? Def is doing his best Derek impression with the Ares. Look at that! But from above, ADSing, Zekin takes out Shanks. Shanks, once again, just as we said before with Wardell, often involved in the first altercation in the previous matchup, but Shanks finds himself on the wrong side of it this time, and rises down a man because of it. Ooh, this is dangerous. The entry in. Aaron will not find the target he's looking for. It's Neptune inside the nebula. And oh, outside now as he finds Muir. And that's going to be a great entry. But it's Xset holding it firm One as Aaron to the corner. Zekin to support. It's just Superman all of a sudden. He'll get one. Nice shot. Not quite the second, though. And BCJ will wrap him up. Well there. All right, Xset take that third round. That was a full buy from Rise that was needed. And unfortunately for them, this fourth round, they'll find themselves on their back foot and Xset with another opportunity to capitalize. The one thing to keep an eye on, Rise took zero timeouts during wow. that series against TSM, zero. Hmm. So at what point, if they end up trailing to Xset, do they try to change things around? Now it was a three map series against TSM, which means that at some point, Oh, Rice lost. And they still didn't take a timeout even when they were trailing, despite it being as close as it could get. So at some point, maybe Rice will decide to settle things down. Who knows? Def 
out of his element, out of his depth, I guess you could say, as he peeks up a little bit too much, and that aggressiveness goes completely unpunished on the side of Rise. They walk away with that, Shanks finds a second, and he'll now be getting chased by Aaron, and despite being concussed, walks away with it with his third kill. Zekin and Pure now. Utility from above, from heaven, dropping down is Zekin, capitalizing, down goes Shanks, Derek next in line. You're toast! Superman walk right into him, I'll take a third, thank you very much. Out go the Seekers, but he can't outdo a poised, who's the last man standing. And Rise finally pick up their first round. Wow, so close right at the end there. Almost looked like the Seekers might have saved Zekin, but despite having lost that round, Zekin sure did make a statement with his performance within it. This early pick here for Shanks on to death is huge. Opening up the site and then the follow up to boot, cutting off that rotation from defender spawn. Massive plays from Shanks. And uh, you cannot understate also the importance of kill while concussed. So we're seeing both of these teams relentless. That's the word I would use to describe both Ryze and Xset so far. And now with Ryze stacked up in terms of utility and economy, Shanks not going to bring the rifle because he can bring his knives. He doesn't need one. We've also got the uh, Neural Theft and the Cosmic Divide on the side of Rise. They are ready to take this one. I'm trying to scout for the location deep in a long where Pure is sitting. Yeah, they uh, did a marshal before, but now he's equipped with something a little bit better. That operator will obviously harm you a lot more than that marshal will. Focus from Rise now over towards the C site. Poised. Not connected with them. He's sitting inside a spawn. Not too far off of him is Shanks. And the sea site execute from Rise, it's not better of. They might still go for it. They might instead go through doors, but we'll see what their position is. Shanks waiting. Knives still out, but a target not found. Not for now. Derek will be the one to lead off. Owl Dart goes. It gives information, and immediately Superman has to peel away as he's being tracked. Derek's Owl Drone is out now. Scouting, and there's a run it back on the board. And Neptune's gonna run right in. He capitalizes off of it. Your clock is ticking, and you're about to run out, so do some damage, and then there's your mulligan. You get to try all over again. Spike gets planted in B as well. It looked like it was going to be over towards C, but no. Poise pulls out the Neuro Theft in the location of the remaining members of Xset, but for a couple seconds is known. And now they'll sit in the site and wait very patiently. Shanks taken out by a shock dart from BCJ, not able to use those knives to full effect. A flash now goes in as well. Poise swings through the cage, taken out by Zekin after he silences BCJ. And Pure pops up, but the divide is there to cut them off. They're trying to look as they stick the spike, trying at least as Aaron, but he can't really do too much of it. He's punished by Derek over by the window, and Zekin will need to not just disable that spike and defuse it, but also contend with the two last players there. He's not going to be able to do anything, though. Too much to do, too much on his plate. And Derek finishes off Zekin and gives Rise their second round. Wow. Pure's lack of success when he jumped up on top of that box inside of B was massive. That's all thanks to Neptune. He not only gets the initial entry, but also holds firm in that post plant. We were hyping up Neptune at the beginning of this match and talking about his performance against TSM, and rightfully so. I mean, it's it's really crazy. You can put him on Sky, you can put him on Phoenix, and he's always going to be performing, or so it seems so far through this series. So rise their second round. That B plant works really out for them. And now we've got, oh no! Pure once again on the floor very early on. And I was about to say, we've also got Xset with less than ideal. All these jets love their opening duels, as you'd imagine. The agent designed specifically for that to make space for your team and play around them. A shot there from Shanks, collecting onto depth right in the midst of B on green. And now out goes a flash, the curveball thrown by Neptune, and the hot hands goes down as well. Stop them from heading towards spawn. Neptune's got access to the spike, and he'll be the one to plant it. It's BCJ. Not gonna be able to do too much in missing his very first shot. Phantom in the hands of Poised is just simply too much. Rise has now managed to tie this up after Xset went on that three round streak. It's Rise's turn to do the same. Yeah, three rounds answered by three rounds there. Quick execute there into C. Once again, noticing how uh, Rise were a little bit slow to plant the spike, but it didn't matter. They were focused on keeping their guns up. It seems like Rise is a slow starter team. We saw the same thing against TSM. Where it took them a little bit of time to figure out TSM, but once they did, things started to shift in their favor. So, Take flight. might be this, a similar case here with Rise, but it's a little too early to call that. Once again, Xset has guns. This time, we're getting a nice, even head-to-head 
fully kitted out, both teams, except for, of course, Coming the half shields out. on pure. I'll break the stalemate here. Depth, are you going to be able to peek well? Yes, you do. Poise just looks away at the wrong time. Bad timing on his end. Get in pure. Looking longingly through the smoke, though, still does some damage. Down goes Shanks, and Shanks a major playmaker. Hunter finds his target. Superman fallen. Neptune trades off, but both teams are still holding equal, at least in the trades. You look at the bottom of your screen, though, and Derek is the one that is left longingly. He gets spotted by the Owl drone. We'll have to pull out the recon bolt. Didn't bother. The stages waits it out. Now they're going to feed their way to him. No damage being done from either of those shock guards, by the way. Jiggle peek around the corner and the jump will give information, but it's Def on the flank and Derek goes down. X set manages to stop the streak from Rise, maybe starting one of their own. Rise still has yet to have the lead on this map. Solid hold instead of C, and crucially, you'll note that uh, X set didn't lose too many bodies on the entry. That's really important. It's that kill right there from Pure that definitively locked the round in for X set. Followed up by that. Hunter's Fury really went a long way. For sure, Derek was frustrated because he probably wanted to use his Hunter's Fury as in a post plant there, but no spike plant got down. This wasn't really time idiot. for it. Now, crucially, Neptune does have his running back, and Ryze still has enough money to buy into this round, so this is going to be an interesting one. Battle of the Jet Mains. We'll see who goes first. Shanks versus Pure. Nobody's moving a muscle for now. Zekin holding this tight angle, Def not too far off. Look at the silhouettes, assuming the exact same position, just separated by a single wall, doing squats. Seeing get the Work most out, reps in for the day. I don't know if Neptune is trying to attract some attention or not, but Shanks has come to the rescue now, as there's this standoff that's happening, still over by sewers. Pure patrolling a long, waiting for Derek to come in that direction. Derek obviously has access to the spike. They're going to need to escort it towards A, but Pure is the first line of defense. He's been good with the saw. Needs to hit his mark. Nice Just shot, Rise. The cage goes up. Timed perfectly from Rise, and Zekin's patience pays off as well. Run it back and then immediately pivot. He'll get two for the price of one. Pure his second kill, and it's BCJ to try and stop Superman, but it's Zekin to get it instead. Three kills for Zekin, two for Pure. That's called a full house baby. An X set up 5 3. And that one, Parker, is all on rise. The peak there from Derek a little too early. You'll see it once again. Just a tad. Just wait a half a second longer and you're fine. And then look, no extra second in the corner. Sorry, but not one person checking. You got two people pushing up short. One nobody. of them on the run it back and nobody looks to the left. I don't know. That's that's on rise. They, they lost that one for themselves. No chance. Well... Like I said, starting a streak of their own in this case. These teams exceptionally streaky, and I mean, hey, obviously if you're X-Set, that's going to benefit you. You'll see what happens with that second half, oh, is it'll be a very boy. crucial pistol round, and this one in particular, it's not pistols, but not a full buy from Rise. Their artillery not up to snuff. Def gets the first kill traded off, though. Superman dies to Zekin, so the advantage still stays in favor of X-Set. As now, the spike surrendered by Window, and the bodies from Rise, two of them at least, eyeing B. It's poised all the way over towards A to try and distract both Aaron and BCJ. If you're Derek, that's not too bad. You've got two sets of eyes on you that can try and even things out and give some breathing with the poison Shanks. And speaking of, Shanks makes you pay. You both wander in. You don't look left. Shanks does what Shanks does best, looking for a third. He collects a fourth one in his line of sight as Pure now will be the one to hunt him down. That was all X set that round, but my oh my, Rise turned it around in a hurry. Well played there to Shanks, and now it's going to be the post plant for Pure. He doesn't have the knives, so the vertical play not as much of an option for him. But if he does pick off two players, he will get them. Slow rotate here through Link, and he's just checking all the corners. As you can see, Ryze are playing as safe as possible. No one by graffiti, no one by hell, no one forcing up into heaven. It's just, let's hold this in the post plant by long. And we do also have one player by short. I think that's poised. Not a lot that can be done here for Pure. He'll throw down the cloud, but be finished off by poise. Well done. And Rise. What a play off of Shanks' three piece. Solid effort, but at that point, you have no intel. You know that one's going to be playing over by a long. You suspect that you might get pressured from sewers. You've cleared out heaven, so you don't need to worry about getting pressed from behind. But outside of that, 
a, a hopeless situation to a certain extent and, and pure played it as well as I suspect he could given the fact that he was not the main issue yeah. with that. That said, two rounds in a row from Xset. That'll end their streak there. Rise picks up round number nine. So these teams are looking about as close as their colors. And uh, we also saw, I mean, there, there was even a round back there where the teams look like mirror Im images of each other with their setup. You know, you got your ciphers over by C, you got two people by short, one by long. You know, it's just these teams are playing very similarly to each other. And it's making for some interesting balance. Derek actually tagged some when he went with that Hunter's Fury, but not enough, and not, I don't think, as much as he wanted there on out. Shanks now under fire over by Window and C. Second will try to flash him. Looks like it was accurate as Depp joins in, and Shanks is down for the count. Rise forfeiting that very first pick. Shanks has ultimate as well. There's two rounds left in this first half, so it'll come out at some point in the 11th or 12th round if the economy for Rise goes in the wrong direction. Well, that can be particularly troubling. Neural Theft is in. Neptune catches BCJ. And me, oh my, that is not where you want to be. Immediately, Neptune will cut off that point of sight. Out come those Seekers, and Pure capitalize off of it as Neptune's attention is elsewhere. Well, exit of the upper hand now. 30 seconds remaining for Rise to be able to pull this one off. Position by Green, given away. You see the hand in the barrel of the gun, and it's good enough for Depp to collect one. Can't go more than that, though. Superman makes him pay. He'll head towards Window. Three players from Xset can shut this down quite effectively. Spike in the hand of Superman, but he'll be immobilized. Obviously, Xset will know, and they hear the sound of the spike going down, too. Ten Here we seconds go. Left. Collapse at some point as very quickly Xset try to get into B site and Superman making noise as best as he can. Flash will go out, he evades it. Aaron goes down, Superman could line up another. They're gonna play ring around the Rosie with him. He creeps to the left. Both Pure and Zekin are looking the other way. The jet of Pure almost spots him, but Superman's made it out now. He has no information, no intel to play off of. He'll sit and wait as Team Ping trying to give information as to where they are. Out goes one of those Hawks, Zekin spotted, but he doesn't know what to do! Superman looks to the left, distracted by Pure, but for a second, it was close, but Xset managed to walk away with that round. Their lead will grow by one, they're up 6-4. Honestly, Parker, I thought that as soon as he got past that line that he saw being held uh, by the Jet, it, it, I thought that there might have been a chance for a clutch, but not so. Xset, their aggression, especially by Grass there, really punishing towards Ryze, who are not ready for it. And this is one of the things that we didn't see too much of from TSM. We did see some aggression uh, on the defense, of course, where they were trying to push up, but often it wouldn't work. Here, it's it's paying out much better for Xset. Well, two more rounds to go. Right now, is Ultimate's favoring Rise at the moment. It's a flash that's gonna go out. It connects very successfully in a heal that regrowth immediately from Zek, and as he now walks away, and Trailblazer pops, going all the way down to Sewers. All the while this is happening, Shanks knows he has to act quickly, but he misses oh. his shots. Zekin is a little bit too slippery on that one. The entry from Rise does not work out effectively, and they'll continue exactly to feed themselves right. to this Xset machine. Up goes down, Zekin will follow Rise now, battling back. A 3v3 as both sides give up two picks. Aaron has some information that comes out from that cam, and he can still see them trying as best as he can to assist his team, spotting Superman in that particular position. Know where they are, but the divide is going to come out, and now we'll drone will follow. Poised waiting just next to that divide, waiting for Derek's peak to work with Poised. They've got this line of sight covered and a crossfire established. The two players from Xset will need to swing wildly. Pure is up above. Out go those smokes on the spike, waiting for the dive in for Pure. There you go. Derek goes down. Pure connects, but that's enough as Derek and Superman get the final two kills to shut the round down and rise. Take it. Well played there to Pure, actually getting right out of heaven. Didn't see that one coming, but the Cosmic Divide was just too much overall for Exit on the retake. It's difficult to push through that wall when placed as well as Rise places it. And one thing that we've noticed, or at least that I've noticed over these last um, four maps, Parker, is that uh, the Cosmic Divides from Superman and then the, the follow-up to those Divides from the rest of his team are just impeccable. Really flawless almost. Uh, they, they barely, very rarely work against uh, Rise, and it's just good stuff to see. Pure leadoff pick here, as Superman, the man I was just talking about, goes down. Can't wait for the end of this matchup to see how many of these opening picks Pure has been involved in. Now BCJ, as we talked about, with these Ares in hand, will just continue to spray away at the easily penetrable wall next to the B window. 
Derek will do this on defense if the last set was any indication. And what a play by Shanks. Just so routine. He hears that the Sova goes on the Owl and you immediately want to push him because there's that moment of vulnerability. Still X set with the numbers, but like that, they swing twice. Derek, the last one alive for Rise is X set. Just need to wait out Derek. There's still tons of time left. Just about a minute to go here in the final round of this first half. Spike gets planted and Derek continues to walk away. I'll have to watch against the two remaining members, but oh, no, he doesn't see death. And unfortunately for fans arise, he'll lose out on that first half. 12 rounds, Michael, in the books and X set ahead by two, seven, five. Wow. I'm, there's a word you used uh, during that map and uh, the first half of that map, and I think it's appropriate, routine. Um, every single one of those rounds did seem routine, whichever team was managing to take it. Super quick on the trigger for both squads, first in for uh, Rise and able to punish quickly for Exet. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of this map. So am I. We'll see if the attackers have a distinct advantage, if the defenders have the distinct advantage through this second half. But before we get there, some ads and a nice break for you. Go stretch your legs, grab some water, whatever you want to do. We'll see you in a couple minutes.
All right, it's time for the second half now of Rise versus X set. Before we get into this, we ask you, what do you think is going to happen with map number one here on Haven? It was picked by X set. It was just played by Rise in their matchup against TSM. And you know what? 56% of you said X set, 44% said Rise. So wow. that's a pretty darn close number. It's, yeah, and it's also very accurate given the uh, current round count, but we'll see how that changes going into the second half here, as it's now X sets turn uh, time to set the tempo for this uh, match. Early control of long A, but nothing coming of it because, as you can see, Derek is playing very safe with these shock arrows. He knows that once the call is made, he can do some damage. Pistol rounds obviously so influential for these teams. Rise very strong on them in the previous matchup, but Xset won them last time. Here comes the push. It's going to be swift right in. Rise fall back, let Xset take control, and then play for refrags, play for the retake, and that seems to be the play right now. Spike being planted in a bit of an unorthodox spot, but no, not in time. Ooh, the hero of that round so far, Derek. Aaron picks up two. He's paid for by Superman taking him out. Superman still dropping those stars as much as he can. Neptune takes out Def, and it's Zekin with two HP and a dream. Everybody's been softened up, though, but Shanks was prepared for it, and Rise wins the very first round of this half, trying to narrow that gap. And given how those first pistol rounds go, it's a good bet that Rise will be able to tie this one up, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Absolute brawl there on A. And the back and forth nature of it really, I think, is a good indication of what we're going to see further into this map, but also what we've already seen so far. It could have gone either way, to be honest. Like I said, it was a bit of a mess. Um, and I like, the, the, the I think the main takeaway there is how Rise, their primary hold uh, on A, fell back before they were punished, um, which allowed for a very graceful full stacked retake back onto the site. Yeah, they didn't want to deal too much with what came next and very good patience on their end. Now that steel metal plating on the doors will prevent a bullet pen kill, but Rise still credited with the very first one. And there we go, we talked about it. The Ares in the hand of Derek. This one's not a bullet pen though. So as much as he might spray through the walls as best as he can, there's no targets to be found. He just takes the fight straight to them. Uh, hurts Xset's chances as both Pure and Zekin are down. And if you saw the scoreboard before we got into this second half, you know how pivotal Spike they are for the mid. team's success. They'll lose Aaron now as well. BCJ and Depth will be the two to carry the banner. Shanks right now doesn't realize Ooh. that BCJ is right there. And now he gets taken out by the Classic in hand. Derek has some insurance, but uh. Depth is prepared for it. Xset will fight back. There's some weaponry they can pick up here too. Xset failing to win that very first pistol round hurt them. They didn't go anywhere near the same artillery that we saw from Rise. Pick up a gun here and there. Remaining. Superman finds Spike BCJ down, who looks the wrong spawn. direction. Spike down as well, and that'll be communicated to the rest of the team as Def is alone wandering through C. All on his lonesome. He'll hook up over by the end of C, though, towards defender or towards attacker spawn. Def might have the upper hand here. Superman's just to his left. Is he there? I just tries to get the shot off, but Superman ends up winning that fight. And Rise take the second round as we had uh, we had figured that would be the case. Yeah, but it was a lot more punishing than it needed to be, if I'm being honest, Parker. And it ties back to something that we've already seen punish Rise before. And obviously, Rise did win that round, but they lost two players when they didn't need to. And it's all down to one thing. It seems so strange uh, to be a problem, but Rise does have somewhat of an issue checking their corners um at least that's what i've noticed so far through this Here. map except are using that to great effect um so that is something that can continue to punish rise we'll see if it does early spray from Derek, and he'll get one down goes pure you were just talking about how important he can be and well he's yeah. gone as is zekin as shanks pushes up by short the old bait and switch there all the defenders showing their stuff so far on Haven. Depth will come to blows with Superman. As there's nobody in the window to watch him. Not sure if he sees that tripwire. He'll peek around the corner and oh, he outduels Superman. The better Astra in this particular case. Imposter, as some would say. Poised is next up. And with that Vandal, Depth tries to catch the retreating Poise, but can't do a single lick of damage. Frenzy in hand for Poise as he runs away and scampers off. X set now, though, with the spike. will escort it over towards A. Jank's up on boxes, waiting, but bad timing to look away. He corrects his mistake, capitalizes on Aaron, and another lined up, but BCJ wins the duel. Shank's dispatched. A is totally theirs. 
He doesn't know that, though. And instead of deciding to provoke an engagement, he backs away. He thinks otherwise. Still watching heaven quite keenly. Rise know this. And there's one on a flank now. Depp is going to come head to head with Poised. Cypher doesn't look to the left, and Depp will be able to capitalize off this. There he goes, and now he'll yeah. march up to try and link with BCJ inside of the site. Spike's still in the hand for BCJ. Econ Dart? Why not? There goes the Spike. They'll rely on Depp for coverage, and Depp doing his job. BCJ dies, though. Spike does not get planted. Look at the timer. They're going to have to go for it. But frags are what Depp is going to decide for. Only five seconds left, and he loses it out in the 1v1. Their eyes keep their streak alive, and they've won three so far since this half. Big win there from Rise, but once again, <laughs> this this time it was poised. I there's like there's like a problem on Rise <laughs> checking corners. I swear, but uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it. They did win the round, and well done, especially to Derek using that shock dart to great effect, or, or shock bolt technically to stop the plant before it could happen, which put Death in a really difficult position. He had to force into Neptune, and uh, I mean, Neptune is ready for it. And you're not going to win against him when he's got the advantage. Well, Owl Drone will come on in as the intent seems to be looking at C. Very first casualty is going to come out as Neptune guns down BCJ and will hold off on C for now. Uh, fire will go up. And now another for Neptune. Pure drops him, though, as Zekin now finds Neptune. Pure down, obviously not ideal. Superman trying his best. Can't outduel Aaron. Cypher of Poise does just that. These teams are just really coming to blows. This is a particularly scrappy matchup so far. It's going to be Def pushing his way One out of that garage Romega. window, but he gets traded almost right after by Poise on a different angle entirely. It's now just Zekin, and he's got the Sheriff, he's got the Spike, but he's gonna have to deal with that trap. He does, and he can't press Shanks. Rise, yet another round in a row. And you're right, Parker, it's been a really scrappy one here. Absolutely, these teams are just punishing each other. And I mean, hey, there's some theory to teams making a run through the lower bracket. It happens in a wide variety of games across multiple genres where a team that plays back-to-back -back matches aren't actually as fatigued as you'd think they are. Mm. This is particularly something that gets talked of in the FGC with how a lower bracket run happens because players will get hot and they will continue to ride that forward. Right now on a very favorable map for Xset, one that was just played by Rise and played quite well for the record. Rise right now seem like they're warmed up. Not that Xset doesn't, but there's a lot of duels that are breaking. This man right here and Neptune as well. The two that have been so dominant so far for the team are just getting away with murder and Shanks will do it again. Yeah, quite literally, Parker, as he backs away. That's good use his utility to escape that tailwind saving him from potential refrags and he'll get another because of it over at long now here comes the hunter's fury and that's gonna get a lot of information for rise no serious damage being dealt quite yet but it might not matter as shanks gets his third kill now on short again here will trade out though poise elsewhere Shanks still needs to be One dealt with at the top of short, and Neptune is now here to support. It's just BCJ. He will finally shut down Shanks, but it doesn't really matter. Rise. They are on a roll. Just impressive stuff, and once again, I want a reference. No timeouts have been taken by either team as far as we are aware, so... Yeah, just let me go. Look, look at those shots from Shanks, by the way. Shanks and Neptune have just been on so far today. Yes, their team is making space for them. Playing around a jet is something that a lot of these North American teams like to do, but mm -hmm. outside of that, they've been able to find opportunities on their own. Neptune in particular reunited with this Phoenix at which he went 25 and nine against TSM on the same map only a couple hours ago. And boy, oh boy, is Neptune doing a mighty fine job of it. It's Shanks again to potentially be the first point of contact for his team. Trailblazer just narrowly misses him, hopping up, and oh, he smokes Purer, and he falls away immediately. What an immediate reaction there from Shanks. I, I didn't even see Pure before he was dead. Well done to the man, picking up the first kill. He did lose a lot of HP, though, so it's definitely not an outright win. It's one more gun up, but Shanks will die likely in his next fight. Incredible stuff here. Aaron needs to be very wary of... There you go. The tripwire that was in front of him. Swats it away and then moves back. 
This is not the round that Exit wanted. As you can see, they're not really armed to the teeth the way they need to be. Derek missing out on an opportunity to see BCJ through sewers as now the attackers, their rotate is towards A. A retake as we come to know quite often here on Haven. Yep, just narrowly missing out on a shot, shouldering some damage and we'll drop one of the orbs and stars up above. There it'll go off. Recon dart left. destroyed and still the Zova of Derek remains unmoved. Need to cover effectively though. Zekin is getting that spike down. Xset desperately need to pull something off right now. Some more damage done to Zekin as that's one of those shock darts thrown out. Aaron on the flank catches poise and then he'll continue through B. Neural theft goes out. Same with those seekers. And man, everything is going in their favor. But just as I say that, what is happening in front of our eyes? Everybody from Xset dies except for Zekin. And now he'll try to flash and get cut down by Derek. And Rise pull a rabbit out of a hat on round 18. The rabbit's name, Derek, as he exited from heaven, able to put so much work into that entry, supporting his teammates coming from Defender Link. Everything went in favor of Ryze on the site, everything in favor of Xset off the site. But here's the thing, Ryze were just too good at getting their bodies where they needed to be, and they were all in the right position on A to assist in the slaughter that was Xset's downfall leadoff kill. That makes a lot of difference right there. I mean, obviously it's just one, but we're talking about Pure, a player that was hyped up going into this match and who has a huge impact when he's allowed to. But so far, at least in that last round, especially in that last round, I should say, it's just not been there. Well, man, what can Xset do at this point? Still no timeout taken, not settling the players down. No strategic talk happening outside of what goes on in the general day-to-day, -day, but this one's gonna be a quick one, and they're gonna be greeted by a very welcoming Neptune. Finds two, flashes his way out, a third on the board for him, but BCJ says no more, not today. Taken down by Xset, Neural Theft's gonna go out from Poise, and the three last members of Rise to go up against the two from Xset now have information, even more than before. The position known. Spike will need to be retrieved as well. It's over by C as all of the bodies were dropping in the same area. Aaron and BCJ understand this. Derek is still in this spot and he gets some information from that recon dart. Now out goes the shock dart onto the spike. Nice long range. Shanks with the operator and Derek combined and it's map point for Rise. And it's certainly looking like map they're point. walking away with this one. X said that last round was expensive Run. for them not only in terms of the weaponry, which they stocked up on as much as they could, but also in terms of the ultimates. We saw the Hunter's Fury come out from BCJ. We saw the Cosmic Divide from Death, and neither of them had the meaningful impact that Xset wanted. That's the most important thing. I mean, they're not even gonna be able to full buy on this round, but I still think the loss of those ultimates and their overall ineffectiveness is, is really tricky, and it puts more pressure now on Pure. He's got the knives. Let's see what he can do with them. They're going to try to slow down this advance from Xset, which will come quickly. Fire and the Fury all over towards A. A lot of players in this lobby, all in the same area. Very quickly, Rise will have to move out, but they get some numbers too. In fact, Neptune putting in the work he needs. Two poises there right by him, side by side. Run it back, popped out. Aaron will shut them down before Poise does some significant damage, and the divide comes up. Just like that, they go for broke, knowing that this map was on the line, and it doesn't seem to work out very well. The only person from Rise felled with Shanks. And for Xset, there's only two left standing. Yeah, this Cosmic Divide making it really hard to re-engage. And in fact, Xset won't. They'll decide to leave, but that's not necessarily going to extend their chances of success as they find themselves down two right now. Poised is low. That's the one little bit of light here. Uh, there's potential to punish him and make this just ever so slightly more even. But... Uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to be, it looks like a shock bolt to fake out on B. Possibly they'll commit, but I, I think they're just trying to distract at least one, maybe two players of Rise. They do have Neptune and Derek looking that way, but I, I don't think it's going to work out for them. Well, they're going to go back towards A. There's still a bevy of things from the Cypher playing in that location, and Poised will spot it, whether it be from Sewers or Long. Camera taken out. Just misses out on that tracking dart. And Poised will have to swing. They're running out of time. They have no chance. This is it. Map on the line, Exit will need to stop, but no, they get yanked off, and that should be it! They'll clean up, and with only one second left, all Superman needs to do is hide, rock!